If you've watched my other popular ozone therapy videos, you'll know that this here is my basic ozone therapy setup. It starts with my oxygen concentrator, which takes the air and concentrates it to about 95% oxygen. From there, it goes through the tubing to my oxygen regulator, my flow regulator, which takes it down to a slow air speed so that it can be highly concentrated in my ozone generator. Now, from there, you have whatever device you use to apply the ozone therapy. Um, and that just depends on what you're wanting to do. But um, I've been really unhappy with my ozone generator for a couple of reasons. Uh, first of all, it's not that strong. Second of all, it's not um, precise. I don't know exactly how much ozone I'm getting. And third of all, it's impossible to do ear insufflations because it's so loud. So um, I just wanted to uh, get started with the unboxing, but first let me tell you that it's your responsibility to know the laws of ozone generators in your country and region. And then second, it's less expensive than going to ozone therapy centers. Um, so it might be beneficial if it's allowed in your area to learn how to do this. Um, that being said, let's get started with the unboxing. There. Important things to know about this ozone generator that I ordered, it's called the Dual Elite. It's stronger, um, it comes with instructions apparently, we'll see here really soon. But uh, uh, you should read that, but I'm probably going to ignore it. Now, this is the generator. So awesome, right off the bat, I noticed uh, one thing. It gives you the exact concentrations of ozone. So this tells you how fast uh, your air is moving, and then um, with each of these dials, um, it'll tell you exactly the concentration of ozone that you're getting, which is higher than most uh, um, ozone generators. Here's the power source. Okay, so now I got it plugged in. And now I gotta hook up the oxygen to it. So I unpack this tubing. The clear tubing is meant more for the oxygen. And I plug that, I think, just right into there, to the out. And I plug this into the oxygen in. And I think all I gotta do from there is turn it on. Yep. So now oxygen is going in there. I know um, if I turn this on, I know what uh, oxygen is moving through there, it's going out there, and I know what rate it's going out, and I know what level this dial is at, so I know exactly how much ozone is coming out of it. But I'm going to turn that off. And you can hear um, how quiet this machine is right now, not as loud as the other one, or any other one out there for that matter. And now I just take this silicone tubing, and that's where ozone needs to be plugged into. Okay, and eventually, you can smell it, you probably shouldn't do that, but eventually the ozone starts coming out and, oh, that's strong. And uh, you, can, uh, you, can, you can feel all of the uh, ozone coming out. Okay, so uh, with that being set up, now you just need to click, uh, connect it to whatever device uh, this came with. So, um, I'm a neat freak, so sorry about this. Okay, so next we have a catheter. Now, catheters are good for rectal and vaginal insufflations. Okay, so now what you do is you take the catheter bag, the ozone insufflation bag, and it also has the concentrations that you should use down there. And uh, you could connect it to that. There you go. And you plug it in there. The ozone insufflation bag is slowly, slowly filling up but this is gonna be high concentrated ozone. Now that it's there, you get the picture. What I'm gonna do is gonna seal this off so no more ozone goes into the bag. I would turn this off if the ozone were on, and then I would unconnect this, and then I would take the catheter, and I would connect it there, and then um, stick this in the place, whether it's the vagina or, the, or your rectum, and uh, unclick that, and then you press the air out of the catheter, or I should say the ozone out of the catheter into the area. Now you do ozone insufflations, so you can deliver ozone to through the whole body through the mucous membranes of whether it's the ears or the uh, rectum or, uh, or the vagina. And so that is one way of delivering ozone to the whole body. 
Okay, so this here that I'm pulling out now is the ozone cup. Now this is, can be used for skin infections or if you just want to trap gas over any part of the body because ozone gas is the actual, the most potent form, but it's hard to aim it at one specific area. So that's why you would use an ozone cup for something like a skin infection. So um, what you could do to deliver that, that, uh, just hook it into here and hook it onto this little device. And all these connections you'll get used to using them. But uh, what this is right here, it's uh, carbon, activated carbon, and so it destroys all of the excess ozone so it doesn't fill up in the air. But you put it on whatever to trap o uh, ozone over whichever area of the body uh, you want. Place it there. Okay, so now I just filled that uh, beaker up with water and I am going to add the water bubbler that I just opened up and plug that into there. Now this is simple, all you have to do uh, to get everything going is plug this in and meanwhile I'm going to set up the ozone uh, destroyer which I will plug into here and make sure that the air is able to flow and the dial is set to the right direction. So eventually, here the ozone is going to be going through there, coming out the other end, and you can see that it automatically starts bubbling out of the water bubbler. So now it will only take about 30 minutes for this to bubble and uh, make ozone water. Now you can use it to wash meats and fruits and vegetables to get rid of any bacteria on them. You can drink ozonated water in limited amounts uh, to deliver readily available oxygen to your whole body. You can also uh, use it to wash your countertops, sterilize water for emergency preparedness. You can put it in a water pick and uh, squirt it between your gums to get rid of gum disease. Uh, those are just some of the many uses of ozonated water. Okay, so now I have my oil set up right there and I've got to get out of um, this, the oil bubbler. Now this is a glass bubbler, so it is uh, different than the other one. And all I gotta do is hook up the connections uh, right here, and already, bam, it starts to bubble and you're ozonating oil. Now ozonating oil can take a very long time, so um, you'll have to let it do that for quite some time to ozonate it fully. Now, of course, you also want to hook up the destroyer to destroy any of the excess ozone gas so you can breathe without choking yourself. And ozonated oil is more potent than ozone water, just uh, for your information. In fact, I love ozonated oil, but I don't like to make my own ozonated oil, so I like to just go online and um, buy um, the ozonated oil already packaged. So. Um, so I bought it from this company, and I will link to this in the description below, along, along with everything else I recommend, I will link to in the description. So even if you go to another device, come back and uh, make sure you purchase it. So that is hemp oil. Now hemp oil is one of the most potent forms of uh, ozonated oil. It keeps the ozone really well and is really potent. So um, like I said, I'll link to that. Now, there's one last thing you can do to get rid of um, nasal and respiratory infections, uh, and that is to actually breathe ozone gas that is filtered through ozonated oil. Otherwise, you can't really breathe it. It irritates your respiratory system too bad. So, what I do, what I get, um, let's see. Okay, is a, a nose cannula, and what I do is um, on this thing here, it should, okay, so what I, what you do is you switch this so that all three of these things are going, you plug in the, the cannula there, and I think you just, uh, put it over your head, and you start breathing the ozonated gas that is filtered through the oil only. All right, now the last way, we went over rectal and vaginal insufflations, but there is one more way if you're uncomfortable with doing that, and that is uh, ear insufflations. So ear insufflations are, like I said, are a good way of delivering ozone to the whole body if you don't want to do either of the other ways. 
if you have the other ozone generators, it's hard to do this because it really hurts your ears. Uh, but uh, this one is really good for ear insufflations. And that's all you do is uh, you hook it up and set it right there. Now it's good if you're close to a vent like I am here in my kitchen. Uh, and the reason for that is that uh, it will suck up all the excess ozone and you won't be breathing, it won't be building up in the air. But um, that also is a great way of doing insufflations and delivering ozone to the rest of the, to the whole body. So this is the O3 Elite. I have it linked to in the description below. If you're going to purchase it, make sure you purchase it from one of those links, even if you go to another device or computer to buy it. Um, one thing that's great is this is amazing for beginners because it is going to, you're going to have so many questions. They have good technical support. They have a lifetime guarantee on the products. Uh, go check it out. And, uh, and it's really simple to use. And like I said, all the concentrations are right here. It's more powerful, more quiet, great generator. Okay, apart from that, I have my other ozone therapy video. It will go over the whole setup and let you know how to do ozone therapy in your own home. You can also do ozone saunas. Uh, I did not go over that here today. There are also ozone injections that you can give, um, and that also I decided not to go over here today and to purchase uh, at this time. Uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe this video. See ya.